In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Caesar Cipher encryptor. Caesar Cipher is named after Julius Caesar, who first used this encryption technique to protect messages of military significance. And the way this encryptor works is by shifting each letter in the string by a certain number of positions in the alphabet. And that certain number is the key. So take for example, we have the string ABZ and we want to apply the Caesar Cipher encryptor to it using the key 3. We're going to take each letter in this string and move it in the alphabet three positions. So A, uh, to find the encrypted version of A, we'll move it uh, three positions in the alphabet. So A is 1, 2, 3. A will now be D. B, if we move it three positions in the alphabet, it'll be 1, 2, 3. E and Z if we move it three positions well if you look over here we're already at the end of the alphabet so what we need to do is loop back around to the beginning so if we do that that'll be one two three so Z will now be C and our encrypted string so we'll just write encrypted is equal to D E C um, the way we're going to create this encryptor is by using Unicode values and if you don't already know what a Unicode value is Unicode is an international encoding standard that assigns each letter digit or symbol a unique numeric value so a in Unicode is equal to 97 and Z in Unicode is equal to 122 these uh, Unicode values are stored contiguously so B will be 98 uh, C will be 99, D will be 100, E will be 101, and so on and so forth until we reach 122, which is Z. So what we're going to do to create this encryptor is add the key to the Unicode values of each letter in our string and then find the corresponding letter of the new Unicode value and append it to our encrypted list. If the new Unicode value is greater than 122, that means we have reached the end of the alphabet and we need to loop back around to the beginning or A. And the best way I uh, think to show you how to do this is by example. So say we have the letter X and the key 5 and we want to apply the Caesar cipher encryptor to X. What we do is we first find the Unicode value of X which is 120 and we add the key to it. So 120 plus 5 is equal to 125 our new encrypted Unicode value is 125 but if you look up here Z the last letter in the alphabet is 122 so we need to loop back around to the beginning of the alphabet and we can do that by finding the remainder we're going to use the modulus operator so we're just going to say take our new key or our new uh, encrypted value and say 125 modulus and that's the modulus operator 122 and all that's going to do is return the remainder so that's 3 now that we have that we're just going to add 96 to it so we're just going to say 96 plus 3 which will give us 99 and the reason we add 96 is because A is 97 and if we've reached Z and say like the key is 3 well if we add 1 go back to 1 that'll be um, we're adding 1 so A would be 96 plus 1 and that's that's how that would work so we have 99 and the corresponding ASCII code or Unicode of 99 is C so X with um, the Caesar cipher encrypted value of X with the key 5 is C so that's how this is going to work uh, in the next section we're going to uh, code this out the coding section of this tutorial, we're going to start out by creating two functions, and the first one is going to be our Caesar cipher function. So define Caesar cipher. This function is going to take in two input values, the first being the string that we're going to encrypt, and the second is going to be the key that we're going to use to encrypt this string. And for now, we're just going to pass. And the second function is actually going to be a helper function called get new letter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take each letter in our string and encrypt it into its new encrypted version. So we're just going to say define um, get new letter. This function is also going to take in two input values, one being the letter that it's going to encrypt, and the second being the key that it's going to use to encrypt this uh, letter. 
And for now, we're just going to pass. So on to our Caesar cipher function. The first thing we need to do is create an empty list. And this list is going to uh, contain each encrypted letter in our uh, from our string. So we're just going to say encrypted string, encrypted string. And this is going to be set to an empty list. And the next thing we need to do is create um, a new key. So new key is equal to key modulus 26. And the reason we do this is, say for example, the key was 30. Well, 30 is greater than the number of digits in the alphabet. So if we move 30 positions, by the time we got to position 26, we'd be right back to where we started. So if we say key modulus 26, the remainder would be 4. And that'd be the same thing as moving 30 positions. Because after, 20, after we move 26, we're right back to where we start. And say if the key is less than 26, so say the key is 24, and we do 24 modulus 26, well, the remainder is 24, and it's unchanged. Okay, so that's why we do that. Next, we need to iterate throughout our string. So we're just going to say for letter and string. What we're going to do is we're going to append each new encrypted letter to our encrypted uh, string list. And we're going to do this using the get new letter function or our helper function. So we're just going to say encrypted string dot append. And we're going to use the our helper function, get new letter. So get new letter. And what we're going to pass this is the letter that we need to be encrypted, which is this right here. And the new key. So new key. So as of right now, after we've iterated throughout our entire string, we're going to have an encrypted string list that contains every single um, encrypted letter from our string, but it's going to be in a list. And just for aesthetic purposes, what we can do is we can uh, turn this list into an actual string using the join method. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So return join, and we're just going to enjoin the encrypted string. And that's what that join method does. It turns lists into strings. That's what that does. So now we need to create the function that takes each letter and uh, encrypts it using the key. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new letter variable. So new letter. And what we need to do to find this new letter is we need to convert the current letter into its Unicode and add the key to it. And Good news for us in Python, there's an ORD function that takes letters and returns the uh, Unicode. So ORD of letter. We now have the Unicode for the current letter plus the key. And that's now we have our new letter. And from here, all we have to do is return the uh, new letter, but we have to find the new Unicode for our new letter and turn it into its uh, new letter. So we're just going to say return. And there's a function to do that. It's the CHR. So if we type in new letter, what this does is it takes the new Unicode and converts it into its corresponding letter. But um, we only want to do this if the new letter is less than or equal to 122, if new letter is less than or equal to 122, because if it's greater than 122, we need to loop back around to the beginning of our alphabet. Um, so what we're going to do is say else chr, and we're just going to do what we did on the uh, chalkboard. We're just going to say 96 plus. Um, new letter modulus 122 and we're done so if we tested it out so we just say print caesar cipher we're going to say we want the string uh hello and the key will be five so if we ran this the new um 
Caesar Cipher encrypted message of hello with key five is MJQQT. And I hope that uh, it was helpful and you learned something. Um, if you found any value from this video, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.